Y'all got syndicated, right? Yeah, we just got it. And then uh, we offer what we want to do. If I want to do it, I'm going to ask you the same question, but I want to do it where it could play on either show. Right. And I want to alienate the other show. I got you. All right? Okay. All right, cool. What two? We cool? Yes. I appreciate you doing this, brother. One, two. One, two, one, two. Yeah, so nice. That's all I got. Hey, hey, hey. So, what can't, you know, is there anything you don't want to talk about? It is awesome, sir. All right. Hey, yo, right now I'm chilling with Tupac. Bay Area's on right here. What's up, Pac? How you doing, brother? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? First off, I want to congratulate you on all your success, man, because I kind of watched you evolve. And, you know, and even though, you know, I think most people from the Bay Area, even though we couldn't be, be there by your side, we kind of felt like every episode you went through in your life that we could only see through the media, we was right there, you know. And brothers got a lot of love for you in the Bay. Want to know when you're coming back for a minute. I'm coming back for sure, and I love the Bay. And everywhere I go and every episode I've been through, I always felt like I was sharing it, the good times and the bad, with the Bay. Because, you know, they, they the one. I felt like whatever I am, the Bay Area has something to do with making me. So if I'm bad, then they had something to do with making me. If I'm good, then they had something to do with making me. Between the East Coast, the Bay Area, and L.A., and Baltimore, those places made me, you know what I mean? Made me who I am and what I am and made me stand out. And, and I, I, I owe them everything. Not, It's not like saying I got love for one block. I got love for those communities, those areas, because everything about those areas made me who I am. And the people from the little, the littlest, you know, crackhead to the biggest ballers, to the teachers, to the principals in school, to the police that... that by the arm, everybody, to the mamas on the block, everybody, they helped raise me, and I appreciate it, because without a family, they helped me to put my family back together, just by all my fans making me who I am, now I got a family again, yeah. when I started rapping, I was talking about broken homes and shit, now everybody all right again, you know what I mean, just because of my fans being behind me, you know what I mean, and making it more than just a fan artist thing, making it more like, that's our homeboy, and we supporting them, and, and I appreciated that, going to jail, and them making me number one, the people made me number one, you know what I mean, and I appreciated that, and I appreciate them sticking up for me, when everybody be kicking me in the and when I'm down and everything, that's love, and I'll never trade that. So for the Bay and Philly and all those areas, man, all those ghettos, all those towns, I love you, and don't let this East Coast, West Coast thing get to you. I love y'all with all my heart, with everything, man. I do this for y'all. Just know that if it was you, you'd do the same thing in my position. Mm -hmm. That's KC. What's poppin', man? Come back here, man. Oh, okay. Okay. That's KC, y'all. <laughs> the Joda C. Doing the video for how do you want it? Yeah, we kicking in the trailer with these fools right now, and it's setting off the hook. It's setting off the hook. On a serious note, that's why I want to ask you, man, because it seemed like every time you come up, like um, with all, each album was something that would set you back, like the incident that happened in Berkeley back in the day with the police, and then you know the um the the trials you went through with the um the lady um back east, and then um the, the situations you're going now when you know you getting caught up in the system every time you come up it seems like it's something bringing you back down when when you caught up like that what is it that goes through your mind when you know you got millions of fans out there wondering about you it hurts me because it hurts me in one way because they be looking at me like damn you got everything why are you doing this yeah and in my heart i'll be like damn man y'all know i don't want to go to jail i'm just trying to live you know what yeah. i mean and on the other hand it's like I can't really take it personal because I'm a reflection of the community and all young black males are going through that. Young black females, young white males, you know, a lot of minorities, period, is going through that. You know what I mean? Going through trying to come up and then getting pulled back five steps and you move, make eight steps and they pull you back 18 steps. So to me, it's not personal because they all going through it. The only thing that makes it different and original with me is that people get to watch it from the beginning to end like a soap opera. You get to watch mods and with everybody else, they get to hide, you know, and go to their homes and deal with it and get over it with me, you see me doing it. You see me deal with my greatest pains. You see me get over things and go through things and, you know what I mean, handle my life. And you seen it. Everybody saw it. So that's what makes it different. Yeah, it's like your, like your whole life is like an open book, you know, and after you got, um, had the incident on the East Coast getting shot and that whole nine, what, I mean, what went through your head? I mean, I, I read a lot of stuff and I hear a lot of stuff on, 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 on TV. But I've been inclined not to believe everything you read in the paper, you know, and, and, and the things you see on TV. You know, I mean, what went through your head as you got shot and all, you know, the whole confrontation that you had with the people that you had it with? 
I came front and slowed me down. And went through my mind, was like, damn, I'm shot. You know, I, I couldn't believe I could ever get touched. You know what I mean? So now that's why I'm more careful and even more. Some people might say disrespectful, but I'm more cautious. You know what I mean? Because I have been shot five times. You know, I know what it feels like. It's like I'm cautious now. I'm not trying to be in that predicament. Um, I know we all have choices to make, and my choices have already been made, even if I want to change it. What I learned in jail is that I can't change. I can't, you know, live a different lifestyle. This is it. This is the life that they gave me. This is the life that I made. You know how they say you made your bed, now lay in it. I tried to move. I can't move to no other bed. This is it. You know what I mean? Not for the courts, not for the parole board, not for nobody. This is what they gave me. All I'm trying to do is survive and make good out of dirt, nasty, you know what I mean, un- Unbelievable lifestyle that they gave me. I'm just trying to make something good out of that. Just like if you try to plant something in the concrete, you know what I mean? Yeah. If it grow and the, and the rose petal got all kind of scratches and marks, you're not going to say, damn, look at all the scratches and marks on the rose that grew from the concrete. You're going to be like, damn, a rose grew from the concrete? Yeah. Same thing with me, you know what I mean? I grew out of all this. Instead of saying, damn, he did this, he did this, just be like, damn, he grew out of that? He yeah. came out yeah. of that? That's, see, that's what they should see, you yeah. know what I mean? That's, a, that's exactly what I see because, you know, you, brother, you must be truly blessed. You know what I'm saying? You know to go through all the trials and tribulations you've been through, and still, and still, you know, you still maintain it. You know, and even now, they still coming. You know, you got these demons and obstacles that What's just up with that? they just keep coming down harder and harder. You know, I mean, every time you turn around, you got somebody knocking on your door trying to take something from you, right? Come harder and harder, and that's what kills me. It's like every time I think this is it, and I go all out to beat that, I win. Or I lose, and then I come into the next one. It's, it's worse. It's even worse. Like it's like a, a like the Twilight Zone, because it's like some evil, unstoppable shit that it just won't let me go. Mm-hmm. It's just got his hands on me, and it just want to see me fail. Mm-hmm. And, I, and in my mind, sometimes when I get when I'm drunk or I'm, I'm just laying down, I'll be thinking like, damn, is this true? Will I fail? Am I supposed to fail? Mm-hmm. I mean, should I just stop trying and give up? But then I'll be like, nah, hold on. That's exactly what they waiting for me to do. Is to just say this is too much. I can't take it and give up. So now it's a fun little game that. I I cry at sometime, I laugh at sometime, I smile, I have good times and bad times, but it's a game. It's this game of life. Do I win or do I or do I lose? I know one day they're gonna shut the game down, but I have to have as much fun to get around the board as many times as I can before it's my turn to leave. That's for real. And that's it. That's for real. We chilling with Tupac right now. We're gonna come back with some more Tupac. We just lounging in this trailer. <laughs> Me and Alan, you know, at the set. Alright, we'll be right back. Oh, all right. All right, actually, we're going. All right, man. Uh, you know what's funny, man? When I be looking at... What I, cause I, I, I like to study, I like to watch how brothers evolve, you know, and the shit, cause you know how this business is, man. Everything is pretentious. It's just like, you know, everybody get that one opportunity and it's just how, who maintains it and then making it to another opportunity that lasts. I look at the shit you've been through, dude. You know, I, I sit and think about it. It's been career in this shit. Yeah. Shit that the next nigga, I mean, I done had problems with the IRS, the police, the <laughs> yeah. feds. Government, rape. I mean, everything Every that they end your career. That's how you know somebody's trying somebody to get my trying to get you. You know, somebody these are not coincidences. Yeah. I mean, because I've been on probation for shit the niggas get turned loose on. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I went to jail for that year, not for rape, but for touching her ass. Sexually, mm-hmm. they couldn't even get me on shit, mm-hmm. but touching her ass. And they put you in jail for a year, and I'm, and I'm sitting there thinking. And you know, if I go to any club, every bitch in there is mm-hmm. grabbing me and touching me. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I went to jail for doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even do that. I mean, I'm saying in a mix of sex, you're going to touch her. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This was me and her personally. But they took that, and that's And they, they blew it out of purport. And then, you know what fucked it up? It's how, like, the media and shit. I mean, you look in the papers, they paint you so bad. You because, know what I'm saying? Uh, but the motherfuckers, they, they know. They, not only they know what goes on in this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like with Tyson and all that yeah. shit. You know, they know what goes on. Yeah. You, you know, you get in these environments like this. You got women all around here. It's you know, what they thinking? You know? It's a game, dog, because... It's a game because what it was that I went out of hand with it and I just started being outlandish and bragging and shit. And they had to stop it. Mm-hmm. They had to stay where it stopped. They said the police had to be first to kill me. And it just so happened that I got to get there before they got me. Mm-hmm. And 
Media. Not only is he recording all this, he's also an actor. But before we get into the acting, I, w- I want to say, um, how did you first get down with Shit Night and Death Row? Shit, I used to always see Shit. Man. 